Holy smokes, that goodness. Yeah, we're not getting that. No way. Hey, yo, what is up all my magnet fishing fellows out there and gals? On the last video, I was like, hey, all the gals out there, I'm so sorry for always saying boy, that boy, referring to guys all the time, and you girls came through, you dropped your comments down below and were like, hey, I'm a girl, I like the magnet fish, I'm here. So, shout out to all y'all, but check it out. Check out this lovely dock that I'm standing on. It looks like an H, and I am excited. We are at a huge, huge public campground. It's about eh, 40 minutes away from my house. So, so one thing uh, that you guys have been dropping down in the comments is you guys have been asking me repeatedly, and I didn't know it was such a thing, and it actually is pretty cool. You guys have been asking if I'm gonna give away or sell any of my findings that I find on these uh, magnet fishing videos that you guys watch. And to be quite honest, I don't wanna sell these items. If you guys want them, um, let's do this. On this video, the coolest item that we find today, I will give away. So all you have to do is drop a comment down below. You can say, hey Bobby, love the channel. Me, I, hey, yo, 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 yo. Drop a comment, whatever you want and that basically will enter you to win the coolest finding of the day. We might actually start doing that in almost every video. So, if you guys want to win the coolest finding of today, drop a comment down below, and whoever the winner is, I'll get your address, and we'll ship it to you. You look like a professional magnet fisherman. Look at all you got. Look at him. He got gloves ready to go. He got bucket and rope. And look at this new gadget he bought. Oh. Dad's been going ham. He's been going in on the on the equipment and this little riggy look at this Even got a floaty on it. So it floats. So a lot of you seen the last video that we did it was some underwater footage Well, dad now has a sweet LED light and a GoPro that mounts right on the top of that bad boy. Think it'll work We're gonna try it. Yeah, we're gonna try it today. Well, we are here. Dad's uh getting his gloves on I'm getting my gloves on it is 64 degrees out today. I got a hoodie on as you can tell. I stepped outside of the house today and I felt that north breeze and 60 degree weather. I'm like, I got on the phone. I'm like, dad, let's go. It makes nice magnet fishing weather. Yeah, you're right. Only about three, four foot. You guys have been loving the magnet fishing videos. I want to tell you right now, I appreciate all you guys. Honestly, you guys have literally been blowing me away with the response we get in these magnet fishing videos and all the positive comments down below. I can't thank you guys enough. Guess them poles that run on the end of these docks, don't hook them bad boys. It's gonna be looking like flare jumping in the water. When in doubt, send it. I don't know, we've been here for about 10 minutes and usually by now we've caught something. Whether it's a lure, some hooks, usually a bunch of hooks by now, and we don't even have any hooks. Come on now. But you know that's what we don't do here. We do not give up. We just keep on trucking. We'll be out here all day until we have enough footage to make a video for you all. So now there's something. Well, what do you, what have we spent here, you think? Huh? I think we've been here about 20 minutes? 20, 25 minutes. So we have not even pulled out a single hook or bottle cap. No hook, no nothing. Nothing. Uh, you, you guys know that by now, a lot of you avid viewers of these uh, magnet fishing videos, you know if you're not catching bottle caps, fishing hooks within the first couple tosses, at least by the first 20, 30 minutes, it's a no bueno. So my idea, look at these weeds growing up here. This dock's just been, it's been extremely shallow for too long and, and a lot of people probably haven't been fishing it because if they were, we would have found fishing string, lures, hooks, especially the hooks. We're always finding hooks. <laughs> you about walk into a big old cobweb? <laughs> so a little fish cleaning station, but a little fish cleaning station here, you know where I'm gonna hit first. This could be really, really saucy. I like these little docks, these are sweet. Smaller like this just makes it easy. Ooh, well, let's check her. Ooh, we got something on there. Look at that, oh my. That is a huge hook. Big old hook. That's pretty new too. Ooh, still sharp. First find of the day, big old hook. And then we got a screw. 
and a sinker. Well, there we go. Anything yet over there? Nope. Beat them to the punch. What do you got there? I see something on there. What is that? An old piece of pipe. Yep. Let's get it in the light. Yeah, an old just piece of round. Looks like a spacer of some yeah, sort. Does. Metal spacer. Good find. <laughs> well, Dad's on the board. Well, what do we got there? We got us a good little swivel. Not too bad still. Well, so now what I'm doing is I'm launching, standing here and launching out there and just pulling back up in this boat dock here. Right. Boom. That water's warmer than the air temperature. Yeah, it's cool it's outside. Uh-oh, what'd you do? Dad got stuck. Did, 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 did. Oh, it's early on there, isn't it? Holy smokes, Dad. Goodness. Yeah, we're not getting that. No way. So, I got my magnet stuck. Here, let me sit, let me show them that. <coughs> Always carry a big old thick piece of rebar or something like this. If your magnet gets stuck, it has that little eyelet in the top of it. And what you do is stick that, stick your piece of pipe through the eyelet of that magnet and then you just pry it off like so. Like that, boom. I'm telling you what, this thing has saved us now probably three times. So tip of the day, carry a really thick piece of rebar, something that you cannot bend. I mean, that's really stout and you can stick the piece of metal, the, the tip of it in the eyelet of that magnet like this, then just pry it off. About the only way we can get these big magnets unstuck from the metal, uh, from the uh, metal docks when we get them really stuck. Well, just pulled this bad boy up, check it out. Definitely, definitely the best find of the day. I've only found about two things so far, but still a really usable bungee. You know what, on that giveaway, I Dad has saved all of our giveaway stuff, so this being the first giveaway, of course whatever today's uh, best find is, uh, I'll be giving away, but we'll throw in uh, just a few things of really good stuff that we found in the past videos. So whoever wins, you'll be getting a couple things. Yeah, buddy. Well, another little hook. That's only like the second hook of the day. By now we would have had like 30 hooks, but it is slow today. Really hope we find something decent for this giveaway today. Well, I figured I'd give you guys a little midday update. It is 10.43 in the morning. What time did we get here? We got here a little after nine. So we've been mag fishing for about an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes. And uh, it's just slow. Uh, the whole day's been slow. Uh, we were really thinking that this place was gonna produce a lot more. We have some more docks to hit, but I just wanted to give you guys a little midday update. Don't worry, we're not shutting down the video yet. Not even close. You know how it goes. If it was easy finding all this stuff, everybody would be doing it. It's not easy. A lot of times it gets slow like this and we just have to keep pushing and pushing and throwing that darn magnet and then finally you get something decent. So, off to the next dock we go yet again. Hey, no diving or swimming from boat docks. Just know that. So this is just like the H dock, the first dock that we were on, but it's a T this time. And it looks like it's going to be a lot deeper water out here. Way deeper. Mm, feels like I got something on there. Probably not. Oh, there we go. What's that? It was a little bell. Look at that. A different style little bell. A little fish dinger bell. Fishing was a tree bass. Oh, look at that. There's a... Oh, it fell. There's a flashlight hooked to it. Uh-oh. Yep. There's a flashlight down there, Dad. That flashlight, it was tangled in that piece of wood and all that stuff and some string it's not very magnetic i cannot it's hook right on to it yeah it's right there i can it's put the magnet on it it's just not grabbing it but there's a little bitty flashlight right there slow day this is a slow one y'all but if you guys are enjoying the magnet fishing videos like always you know what to do give me a big old thumbs up oh look what dad found an awesome little what is that little blade jig little blade jig i'm not the best fisherman that. yeah a little blade those. on the bottom of it that's an awesome i'm gonna reuse that bad boy right there green with a washer tied on the end of it. yeah it's probably holding the basket or something There's a bait something, basket still something down there i bet it's the bait basket that's attached to this rope get it i've literally went from all the way over there around this entire side 
in here and man me and dad both we were having troubles getting anything look at that <laughs> well first thing in a while i spoke too soon and got a lighter um like i said it is just slow here isn't it what do you got us what do you think extremely slow. i can't believe we just haven't found very clean yeah like it's like someone has got here before us i'm finishing up the edge of this walkway here trying to pull something out of my you know what but you know what it's just not there's not anything to pull out so pull it up one more time here oh and i spoke too soon yet again look at that <laughs> he's shaking his head i felt that go clunk yeah, he st Dad stopped at that pole up there and just didn't come the rest of the way. Look at that. Those have been down there a very long time. They're nasty. Yeah, so, really old. Yeah, look, they still break over. Look at that. Actually, pretty clean underneath there. Blue handled. Yep. Not a bad pair of pliers. Look at that. They are extremely nasty, but one of the better finds of the day for sure. That's a good looking dock. Got some deep water, you can tell. A lot more boats, you can tell, use this one. It's so corroded, I don't know. <laughs> what is it? It's corroded. Uh, look, it's a little, like a end of a dog leash. I we find see. dog leash stuff quite a bit, it's don't we? The last month we have. Well, I'm getting going here. Going along this whole side here, working my way around. No, uh -oh, what'd you get? Spark plug probably for a boat motor. Yeah, old spark plug. Look how corroded that bad boy corroded. is. Nice find. Second find for you on this dock. You might find a money box down there. Yeah, yeah. What did I just find? Weird shaped piece of metal. Looks like a rod holder. Yep, piece of an old, old rod holder. I told you we were going to be doing some traveling today and we just traveled about 45 minutes south and we're back at the spot where we did the last magnet fishing video a bunch of you liked it it was the one where we found the uh the scooter and look at dad he's always the first one to the dock I'm look not, at you i'm not putting nothing in i'll wait for you yeah the last spot we we're at all them docks literally fished five docks we found a little bit which we'll review all of our findings at the end of the day like always but I want to find something good today. It's good. Something better than a strap. Check it out right here. This goes from shallow to just deep. Well, I'm going to do like last time. I'm going to start up there and I'm going to work my way this way. Last time I did that, I found a scooter. So, throw in here and work our way around. Man, it drops off fast. Oh, got something. Oh my, look at this. No way. No way. Two shotgun shells. <laughs> no lie. Two shotgun shells in one go. That means there's other stuff right here. Alright, so what we got here, found them in the same go. I'm ready to put the magnet back in, but I want to... It says, sure shot power pistol. Um, so we're going to put them bad boys right here. Pick this up. And we're going to put this bad boy back in here because finding those, both of those in one go, uh, that's odd. That's odd to me. So I'm really going to pan this area pretty hard to see if we can find something else because that's, that is uh, probably not a coincidence. What do we got here? I have no idea what this is. Oh, it's a big old bolt. Huge, huge, huge bolt. That's the biggest bolt I've ever found. Wow. Well, I've been having pretty good luck so far. I do that that shotgun shell deal. Uh, that is awesome. Uh oh, look at this. Fishing pole. 
Oh, four fish. That's Bodie's color. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's Bodie's color. Bubba got a fishing pole. Oh, Even got a bobber. Good. Spider Man. <laughs> it's in perfect shape. Complete. Yeah. Perfect shape for Bubba's. Well, I'll give that to my son, or you got. Well, we're giving the best thing away. That's a little big to ship to one of you guys. Aww. And I'm sure you guys don't mind if I give that to my little boy. So. A little Spider-Man pole that's in perfect shape. That is cool. Well, looky there. My first bottle cap of the day. You know you're doing something good when you're finding bottle caps. Woo, it's starting to warm up. This morning was beautiful. It's still a lovely day. It's only probably, honestly, I bet you it's coming up on 80 degrees for the day. But what an awesome day. It was slow. We, we had to make a huge adjustment and come down here about a, almost an hour drive again. So we've been on the road for probably almost two hours trying to crank out. But let's see what we got today. First off, we got that big old bolt that I found. And then look at that, the fishing pole. My son is going to be so excited that he got a Spider-Man fishing pole. He's just a little boy. And then I did find that pair of pliers. Look at those. I mean, just corroded up bad. Dad found a spark plug, a part to another dog leash. Oh, I didn't know we found two big hooks. Two big hooks. A lighter, bottle cast like usual. The uh, bungee that I found. The little bell that I found. If you guys know what kind of bell that is, let me know. And then here, I think this is kind of the pole and the shotgun shells are the two most interesting finds of the day for sure you know after magnet fishing long enough when you pull up two shotgun shells together on the magnet at the same time it, it's it's not a coincidence so whatever you guys think about this you think someone just ditched a whole box of ammo down there and i just happened to find two of them let me know down in the comments what you guys think about these shotgun shells i've actually found now three shotgun shells in the water one on uh, one of the first videos i ever did one of the first magnet fishing videos that i ever put up on the youtube channel and now two today so pretty neat a lot of you guys know that i'm a shotgun shooting guy so i just think it's it's a coincidence that i find shotgun shells what do you think my second week of being a loser uh-oh dad's but dad's a little salty i found my best find walking up here you did a package of spice pumpkin that's sealed. <laughs> he didn't even show me that. Full of spice pumpkin. Take a taste of it. No, you put this in your laundry, you put oh. this in your bath, and it smells good. Really? Well, we know what he's going to be doing. Taking a bath in pumpkin spice. You, you guys take your pick here. Yeah. <laughs> take your pick. We didn't find anything good, so I got two piles at home that we'll go through, and whoever wants it can have the multi-tools yeah we got a bunch of multi-tools and stuff like that so at the beginning of the video i said if you guys want to enter to win some of my findings i will send them to you the reason i'm doing it is because a lot of you i've had literally handfuls upon handfuls of you guys say hey why don't you give away your findings and you know what that's a pretty good idea so all you got to do is drop a comment down below say yes i'm in yes me sure whatever you want to do spread some positivity down below and i will enter you to win uh, some of our findings. I'll, I'll gather up a multi-tool, a couple of really good things that we found, and I will ship them to your address. So, it's going to be a completely random drawing. Whoever comments down below will be entered. But like always at the end of the video, guys, I want to give some attention to the littering. You know we concentrate on finding docks like this. Docks are the best place to find stuff magnet fishing, and i just like to close the videos out by telling you guys, always remember to throw away your trash. No littering, please. Thank you for watching. Thanks for always dropping them big old thumbs ups. And as always, thank you for subscribing and be sure if you haven't to do so. All my subscribers that love these magnet fishing videos, why don't you hit the little notification button right down here somewhere. When you do that, it'll notify you when I upload so you can watch it right away and you won't miss any. But I thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.